We're on our family farm. It's located at Oakville, Washington. It's about 90 miles south of Seattle. It's been in a family for 135 years. I'm going to be 70 here pretty quick. <laughs> I have a lot of years. They're milking cows. I guess one of the reasons we like the robots, because for, for all these years, we never had weekends. If we did have help here milking cows, they wanted the weekends off. And uh, hopefully now we'll be able to have a weekend. A voluntary milking system is De Laval's robotics. The cows come at their choice, at their will, to be milked as many times as she'd like. So it's strictly voluntary. We keep the people out of the picture as much as we can. Taking the people out of the picture gives the cows a relaxed environment. So we're gonna have an increase in production just because the cow is relaxed. Each cow has a RFID tag within its ear and the whole concept of a controlled flow operation is that you have several gates in different parts of the farming facility that will control which way that cow goes based on whether she needs to be milked. If she has permission to the robot, which is a parameter the farmer sets, the gate to the robot is going to automatically open. She walks in, it identifies her, closes the gates, and then it begins the process of cleaning the teats. It's basically taking warm water and air and scrubbing the teat back and forth. And then as we come off of the teat, we apply vacuum, it dries the teat and also strips her. So we have our pre-stripping done and we have a nice clean sanitary teat. Once those are done, the robot will hook up to each individual teat and milk them individually. And you might notice on this cow, it skipped that right rear back there. Well, it's already programmed in the computer to know she's a three-teated cow. Thus, you can see from the screen there, the three blue squares are the three milking quarters. And we actually see the flow rate, how fast the milk is flowing from the udder. We see her yield. And then above the actual yield, we see what we expect to get from this session right now from her standing here. We expect to get 36.6 .6 pounds of milk. Once those are done, it's going to automatically post dipper. It's cleaning the floor, like you can hear now in the background. It opens the gate, little air kind of gives her a little chase out. The next cow is already in and loaded. And it's just an ongoing, nonstop process. One of the advantages and reasons we went to the, the robotics, amongst many other ones, that we want to be better farmers, more efficient farmers, more production, happier cows, healthier cows. We know how hard farmers work, okay? The guy takes a vacation once every 10 years. I mean, I think the robot improves their quality of life. When I was growing up, I used to fish these rivers all the time, and I used to climb the hills behind us and had a great time, but in 50 years now, I've never fished in the river, haven't climbed on the hills, and I hope the robots will give me an opportunity maybe go down and start fishing again. <laughs>